Good morning, boys and girls. Today we're on page 103, 103. And our objective today is today I will add objects to make sums of three and four. Okay, so we're gonna underline the word sums. Sums means we're going to be adding. And the largest answer we're going to have is four because a sum is the answer to an addition problem. Okay, let's look at our vocabulary. Our first word says add. It means to put together, join, or combine. So we're going to take two numbers and put them together. And then our next word says sum, the answer to an addition problem. So sum is our answer. So every time I see the word sum, I put an addition sign on top of it. And then they give us our example. Okay, so here are our steps today. Our first step says we're going to count objects in the first group and record the number. Then we're going to count objects in the second group and record the number. And then we're going to count the objects all together to find the sum and record the sum. All together, I'm gonna to underline because that's what we call a clue operation word. All together also tells us we're going to be adding. Okay, so let's see what this looks like. Here's my first problem. And it says, how many in all? And when I see those words in all, I know that they want me to add. Okay, so my first step says I'm gonna look at my first group. So this is my first group, and my first group only has one. And remember when we count, we always cross off. So I crossed off as I counted, and there was one. So one, I'm going to write there. Okay, my second group has one, two. So I'm gonna put a two right there. And now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna add count, but I'm gonna add them as I count. So I'm gonna count both groups at the same time. So ready? One, two, three. So there are three dragonflies, which means that one plus two equals three. Okay, let's look at one more before we do some together. Okay, my question says, how many in all? So in all tells me they want me to add them. So I'm gonna put an addition sign on top of the words in all. Okay, and I'm gonna first count my first group. So ready? One, two. Okay, so I'm gonna put a two under the first group. Then I'm gonna count my next group. One, two. So that group also has two in it. So I'm gonna put a two under there. Okay, now I'm gonna, instead of counting each group separately, I'm gonna count the whole group at the same time. So ready? One, two, three, four. So I counted four dragonflies in all, which means two plus two equals four. Okay, let's do some together. We are on page 104, which is 104 and we are going to be counting fish together. Okay, ready? So our question says, how many in all? Okay, so I want everyone to underline the words in all because that tells us we're going to add. So let's put an addition sign on top of those words because in all tells us we're going to add. Okay, ready? When we count, remember we cross off as we count. So we're gonna count our first group of fish. So we have one, two. Okay, so on the, that line, let's write a two. Okay, now let's count our second group of fish and we have only one. So let's put a one on that line. Okay, now let's go back and we're gonna count them in all, all together. So we have one, two, three fish. So in all, there's three fish, which tells me that two plus one equals three. Okay, let's look at one more together. Okay, now we're going to be counting flamingos. So our question says, how many in all? 
So underline the word in all. And then remember on top we put an addition sign because in all tells us we're going to add. Okay, so let's count our first group of flamingos. We have one, two, three. So let's put a three under our first group. Okay, our second group we only have one. So let's put a one under our second group. Okay, now we're gonna go back and we're gonna recount them, but this time we're gonna count both groups at the same time. So we have one, two, three, four. So we have four flamingos in all, which means we have three plus one equals four. Okay, boys and girls, have a good day. Bye-bye.